Good afternoon everyone. This is Vrishali. In my last lectures, we discussed about some points of unit 1, 2 and 3 of processor architecture with practical demonstrations. I have mentioned the complete processor architecture playlist link in below description box. Now in this session, we will start the next unit that is unit 4, PIC interfacing 2. And the first point of this unit is complete overview of RS-232 protocol. So let's see. So following points we will discuss in this session that is parallel versus serial data transfer, serial communication protocol, RS-232 applications, their pin description, their working and specification. So let's see. So before move forward to the RS-232 protocol, the first point is parallel versus serial data transfer. Now see here in this uh, table, there is a difference between parallel data transfer and serial data transfer. So see here in this image, in parallel data transfer, sender can send group of 8 bit of data to the receiver at a same time. So this concept is called as parallel communication. On the opposite of that, in serial communication, sender can send bit by bit data at a same time to the receiver. So this is the main difference between parallel and serial communication. Parallel communication send group of bits of data at the same time. That's why their data transfer rate is high. And it can send all the data serially or bit by bit. So their data transfer rate is low. Parallel communication generally used for short distance communication purpose. And serial communication generally used for long distance communication purpose. For example, telecommunication lines. Here in parallel communication, they can send group of bits of data. That's why their cabling cost is more. And in serial communication, cabling cost is less. Parallel communication is less reliable as compared to serial data transfer. So these are the different protocols that used in this communication. In parallel communication, GPIB, PCI, ISA, this type of protocols are used for communication purpose. And in serial communication, RS-232, USB, HDLC, these protocols are used for communication purpose. So this is, these are the basic difference point in parallel data transfer and serial data transfer. Now the next point is serial communication protocols. So in your syllabus there are total four serial communication protocols that is RS-232, I2C, SPI and UART. So in this session we will discuss RS-232 protocol. See here in this image this is a basic concept of RS-232 protocol. One side trans transmitter, another side receiver. Means is it, there is a computer and modem. So computer transmit data to the receiver. So see here, computer can send data to the receiver in bit by bit format or in serial communication format. And modem, that is receiver receive data and again give reply to the computer or send data to the computer in serial mode or in bit by bit format. So this serial communication purpose we use RS-232 protocol, right? So let's see what exactly RS-232 protocol. So RS stands for recommended standard. Nowadays in PCs, D-type connector is used. See here in this image, I think you all are familiar with this connector. You can connect different peripheral devices to your computer by using this D-type connector cable. You can connect projector to your computer or modem or printer to your computer or laptop by using this cable. So for data communication between these devices or between this D-type connector to your system, for that purpose RS-232 protocols are used. So this protocol generally used for serial communication purpose. See here in this image, transmitter and receiver. So transmitter can send bit by bit of data at the same time to the receiver. That is 1001 in this format. So RS-232 protocol use serial communication for communication purpose. And their data transfer rate is 1.492 kbps. On this speed, they can transfer the data. Now, these are the different applications of RS-232 protocol with D-type connector. You can connect modem. See here, this modem is connected to your laptop. So by using D-type connector, then you can connect printer to your laptop by using D-type connector. And you can connect multiple peripheral devices at the same time uh, to your CPU. Right? So for that purpose, these D-type connectors are used. 
and this D type connector use IRS 232 protocol for data transmitting and receiving purpose. Now the next point is IRS 232 protocol. So as we discussed IRS 232 protocol is based on serial communication like they can transfer one by one or bit by bit data at a time. This IRS 232 protocol was developed by Electronics Industry Association and Telecommunication Industry Association. This association was developed RS-232 protocol. Now see here in this image, RS-232 protocol generally based on two systems. One is DTE. So DTE stands for Data Terminal Equipment or which is Transmitter. And on the another side DCE. DCE stands for Data Communication Equipment or data circuit terminating equipment or receiver. So this RS-232 communication is based on DTE to DC and DCE to DCE. That is transmitter to receiver and receiver to transmitter. They can generally follow request response protocol. So here transmitter means your computer or CPU and receiver means different peripheral devices like modem, monitor or projector. So RS-232 protocol or when you transfer data from a particular computer to your uh, modem. So at that time this serial communication can be handled by using this RS-232 protocol. Now the next point is pin description of DB9 connector. See here this is D type connector. This connector are generally used to connect different peripheral devices to your computer. And for single or serial data communication purpose. This connector is used RS-232 protocol. Now in this table, see here, this is a pin description of each and every uh, pins that are present on this D-type connector. I will explain these pins uh, in detail. Now see here. So in this pins, there are total 9 pins are there in this connector. So first see here, that is TXD. So TXD stands for transmitted data. Okay and RxD stands for received data. So transmitted data, this pin is set true when data is sent from computer to other devices. When computer send data to the printer, so at that time this pin set true. On the opposite of that received data, when modem or printer send data to the computer or when computer received data, so at that time this pin set true. So transmitted data means data sent from computer and received data means data received by the computer. So for this operation, these pins are set true. Now next, next pin is DSR that is data set ready and DTR that is data terminal ready. See data set ready means when you connect printer to your computer, right? So computer send data to the printer. So first computer check that whether your printer is connected to your computer properly or not. If your printer is not connected properly, so at that time data not sent or error signals are generated, right? So this DSR that is data set ready, it read by the computer. The front device is ready to receive data or which is in online mode or proper power supplies there. So that is data set ready. So computer check that all the peripheral devices are connected properly or not. So at that time this data set ready pin is true. On the opposite of that data terminal ready. So data terminal ready means your computer is ready to transmit the data. So all the peripheral devices are checked that whether computer is computer having proper power supplies there or computer is ready to transmit the data. So at that time this pin set so data set ready, DSR pin are used by the computer and data terminal ready, DTR, this pin are used by the devices. So for checking purpose or for pre-processing purpose, these pins are used. Now the next pin is RTS that is request to send. When computer want to send data to the printer, so first step is computer send request to the printer that it can transfer the data or not. So this at that time this request to send pin set true means computer send or computer it wishes to transmit the data to other peripheral devices. 
Next pin is CTS. CTS means clear to send. When printer is ready to receive the data, right? When printer get the signal that computer want to transmit the data, so printer clear all the remaining data or clear all the cache memory from this printer and this printer will ready for receiving purpose. So at that time this clear to send pin set true. So request to send means computer send request to peripheral devices at that time this pin is true and CTS means peripheral devices clear all the path for receiving the data purpose at that time this pin set true. Now next one is data carrier detect that is DCD. So when you send data from transmitter to receiver or there is proper request response protocols are used. So at that time different signals are generated like a request signals are there, receiving signals are there, transmitting signals are there. So all these signals are handled by this data carrier detect. If proper signals are there means your task is completely performed or transmitting data successfully or receiving data successfully. So this thing or at that time this pin set true. Then RI, RI means ring indicator. So ring indicator handle all the incoming signals from the DCE. Means all the peripheral devices incoming signals are handled by ring indicator. So this is just a description about each and every pins of RS-232 protocol with D-type connector. Now we will discuss exact working of this RS-232 now see here, this is the working of RS-232 protocol. So as we discuss, uh, see here in this diagram, RS-232 protocol is a two-way communication protocol. Transmitter transmit data, receiver receive data, again receiver transmit data to the transmitter. So this is a two-way communication protocol. And they, it can be done from serial communication, means by using serial cable. So here in this uh, communication purpose there are two devices are connected with each other right so one is DTE another one is DT, DCE so DTE means your transmitter and DCE means receiver so for example assume that DTE means your computer that is transmitter and receiver means modem okay computer want to send data to the modem modem receive data and modem again give response to the transmitter this is a task okay now for working purpose, the first step is, see here, here computer and here modem. So computer want to send data to the modem. So first step is, this DTE send RTS signal to the DCE. This is the first step. This RTS signal that is request to send, means computer want to send data to the modem. So receiver gets signal that computer want to send data, right? This is the first step. Second step is when DCE get a signal, when DCE get this request signal that computer want to send data. So at that time DCE use CTS signal that is clear to path. So DCE clear all the path and be get ready for receiving the data. This is the second step. After clearing path, receiver send RTS signal to the DTE. It means that receiver is ready for receiving the data. So after getting a RTS signal from DC, DTE can send data to the DC. Means computer send data to the modem bit by bit by using serial cable. Receiver receive complete data and if they want, they again transmit data to the computer in this way. This whole transmission, data transmission process takes place by using request response protocol. And for this serial communication purpose, RS-232 protocol is used. So this is the working of RS-232 protocol. The RS-232 specification is there. RS-232 protocol use point-to-point -point network topology because they use serial data cable for data transmission purpose. It is a full duplex type. There are one controller and one receiver uh, for communication purpose. Unbalanced signaling is there. Then uh, maximum distance is 50 feet because they use serial cable for data transferring purpose. And the length of serial cable is 50 feet with 19.2 kbps speed. And the required positive volt power supply for data transmission purpose. 
so this is a specification of rs232 protocol so hope so you understand about rs232 protocols and their working thank you keep practicing